Palo Alto Networks devices are under attack with over 2,000 confirmed compromised in a widespread attack exploiting newly discovered vulnerabilities. And if you're using Fortinet instead of Palo Alto, you might be thinking you're safe, but there is a hidden design flaw in the Fortinet VPN servers that allows attackers to obscure successful brute force logins, leaving IT defenders blind to compromised accounts and granting a dangerous false sense of security. Scammers are seizing the moment as massive waves of new users hit blue sky, with cryptocurrency schemes seemingly coming from the tech giant Meta, leading to an unprecedented deluge of 3,000 user reports per hour. And finally, security researchers have discovered two potent Linux backdoors named Wolvesbane and Firewood, signaling a growing shift in threat actor strategies as attackers increasingly target Linux systems to evade enhanced Windows security measures. You're listening to The Daily Decrypt. Over 2,000 Palo Alto network devices have been compromised through exploiting recently disclosed vulnerabilities, which enable attackers to bypass authentication and escalate privileges, thereby executing arbitrary code and modifying configurations. This has been dubbed Operation Lunar Peak, and Palo Alto Networks has identified the use of these flaws to deploy PHP-based web shells on compromised devices, posing a severe risk as attackers gain control over the victim networks. Amidst these challenges, though, Palo Alto Networks remains optimistic due to its strategic advances in the cybersecurity market, which is resulting in a surge of new deals contributing significantly to their financial growth, with a notable increase in high-value transactions. So great for Palo Alto Networks for platformatization and doing the thing, but if you are running a Palo Alto Networks device, make sure you're up to date because these vulnerabilities have been disclosed and they've been released and they're being exploited actively. And if you're using Fortinet instead of Palo Alto, there has been a new design flaw identified in Fortinet's VPN server, putting organizations at risk of concealing brute force attacks. Researchers from Pantera have highlighted a weakness in Forte Client's VPN two-step login procedure where the oversight lies in the logging mechanism. Typically, login attempts should be recorded both during authentication and the authorization phases. However, Pantera discovered that the successful logins are only documented if they pass both stages. So this vulnerability would allow attackers to halt the process after authentication, meaning failed attempts are logged, but successful credential verifications slip through undetected. And the absence of these logs means that security teams remain unaware of compromised credentials, giving attackers an unfair advantage. This is really important from a defense perspective because a brute force attempt is much different than a successful brute force attack. And the only thing that differentiates them is that successful login, which is not getting logged on these VPN services. So while Fortinet acknowledges this finding, it surprisingly does not categorize it as a vulnerability, leaving uncertainty around potential fixes. Though, in my opinion, this issue remains a significant security concern as it enables attackers to validate credentials quietly, which can then be misused or sold to other malicious parties. In other news, there is a relatively new decentralized cryptocurrency exchange named Blue Sky that is experiencing a user surge surpassing 20 million users because it has become a prime target for cryptocurrency scams reminiscent of those on Twitter. Scammers have swiftly capitalized on Blue Sky's expanding user base by employing deceptive tactics, posts falsely linking cryptocurrencies like MetaChain and MetaCoin to Meta's brand and misusing Mark Zuckerberg's likeness have surfaced, driving users to counterfeit websites designed to mimic Meta's aesthetic and messaging. The decentralized nature of Blue Sky, which is built on the AT protocol, introduces unique challenges as no single entity oversees all operations. While Blue Sky Social can moderate content on its server, fraudsters exploit this decentralization by setting up independent instances to disseminate their cryptocurrency schemes. And the more users interact with it, the harder it is to moderate and detect. Concurrently, Blue Sky's safety team is grappling with an unprecedented volume of reports exceeding 42,000 in a single day, which is a huge uptick from previous figures. The platform is ramping up its moderation capabilities to handle the influx of spam and scams, but the decentralized model remains a double-edged sword. It grants users freedom and control, but also complicates content governance. And this is a problem that privacy 
and cryptocurrency people are going to continue to face because privacy and security don't often go hand in hand. With encryption and decentralization, it makes it really hard to moderate and monitor these types of things. And finally, researchers at ESET recently uncovered two newly identified Linux backdoors named Wolvesbane and Firewood that are linked to cyber espionage operations aimed at gathering sensitive data such as system information and user credentials. These backdoors maintain persistent access on compromised servers and execute commands stealthily, avoiding detection over extended periods. Wolvesbane, found in virus total samples from Taiwan, the Philippines, and Singapore, is attributed with pretty high confidence to the China-aligned APT group, Gelsemium. This group has notably targeted Eastern Asia and the Middle East since its emergence in 2014, but has only now been implicated in using Linux malware. Wolvesbane involves a straightforward loading chain of a dropper, launcher, and backdoor, alongside a modified open source user land rootkit. At the same time, ESET also discovered Firewood, which is another Linux backdoor. ESET's analysis of these repositories also revealed additional tools like web shells that facilitate remote control when installed on compromised servers. This discovery, following the trend of APT groups targeting Linux systems, highlights a strategic pivot driven by enhanced security measures in the Windows environments. Which just goes to further show that, you know, defense is a cat and mouse game. The better you defend something else, the more attackers are going to modify their strategies, right? So Windows defense is going up, and thus attackers are pivoting more towards Linux-based systems. This has been The Daily Decrypt. If you found your key to unlocking the digital domain, show your support with a rating on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. It truly helps us stand at the frontier of cyber news. Don't forget to connect on Instagram or catch our episodes on YouTube. Until next time, keep your data safe and your curiosity alive.